Guten Morgen. We have a bit of a side project to work on today. Uh, I got contacted by a dude and he wants to test some amplifiers. So he's got some amplifiers with a 4 pin mini XLR and then maybe he's got another one of a different flavour. Maybe a valve amp or something. Uh, yeah, and what he wants to be able to do is com to compare these two, listen between one and the other. So he was asking if we could make just like a thing with two four pin XLRs just going to a socket. And I was saying, no, I get what you're coming from, but that's a bad idea because you might get one amp kind of grounding to the other. And then death of amplifier. Some amplifiers are quite sensitive to that kind of thing. Um, so I'm like, no, not going to do it. Uh, then uh, he said, oh, couldn't you just put a switch in there and you could switch between one and the other? And I had to admit, you're right, we could just put a switch in there. <laughs> so I went online and I found an appropriate switch. And this is a big boy. Uh, it's the Multicomp MCR13-44B-05. Catchy name for a lovely switch. And uh, I chose a nice big chunky one so that all the internals would be quite, quite thick and uh, you wouldn't lose any audio quality in it. As you can see, you've got nice big contacts in there and everything else is going to be quite, quite chunky. But what, uh, when it arrived, I was really pleased because, like, oh, when you switch it, it, it really ka-chunks, ka-chunk, which is cool. But then I, uh, my initial plan was just to kind of wire stuff to a switch and cover it up. But because this needs quite a lot of force to ka-chunk from one to the other, I'm probably going to have to make a, an enclosure for it. So we're going to probably... have to make something like that which is quite wide so that when you could chunk it from left to right it's got enough support to stop it from just turning over uh, so yes yeah, so we're gonna do some kind of wide enclosure for it so a couple of holes there with wires coming out to the to the XLRs and then whoop, a wire out there with another XLR that you can plug your plug your headphones into, and then you can compare amplifiers, ka chunk, ka chunk, and because it's switching all four at the same time, it's got four independent switches. Uh, you're not going to get any feedback through the other amplifier. So, uh, so the plan is we're going to CAD this up now, 3D print that bad boy, assemble this magic. But what I was thinking was, as it's here, and you know, we, we, we like to go overboard, uh, once this is 3D printed, we could maybe run the enclosure through our UV printer and print some kind of cool image on top of, I don't know, maybe we'll put pictures of cool amplifiers or something on there. Uh, just, just pretty it up a little bit, make it a little bit, a little bit sexy. Uh, well, I done. I did actually 3D print this last night. Left it running overnight. But when I went and took it off the bed this morning, I didn't notice that the printer had run out of filament. And I should have checked that first because I could have just finished printing this. But uh, I just whipped it off. I thought it was finished. Whipped it off the bed and then realised. Uh, so I'm going to have to now design a, another part to go on the bottom there just to finish this off because I don't want to have to reprint that because it took. I've printed it super thick and chunky so that um, it gives it lots of support and it took about 10 hours to print so I don't want to print that again. 
but as you can see, um, I've made it so that the switch sits in there nicely and ka-chunk, 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 and it's uh, nicely supported in there so it's not going to, you know, it's not going to come out. Uh, yeah, so what I need to do now is make the cables, well I've, I've already kind of soldered the ends on to some wire. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to braid these, solder it all together, and then hopefully soon the, the other part will be 3D printed. Uh, we might go and do some stuff with the UV printer. So leave it with me. Uh, I will make that. I did think before I uh, before I permanently affix anything in there, I should probably print on the on the casing. Uh, so yeah, we've got a really fancy printer that can print on things. <laughs> so so that's what this looked like. It's pretty uh, it's pretty amazing. It basically um, kind of sprays a UV reactive paint onto the surface, and then a UV light goes over it, and it instantly hardens. So it turns into like a super hard painted surface. Uh, you can design it all on the computer. It can print on just about anything, uh, as long as it's vaguely flat. Uh, you can have a bit of a few lumps and bumps in there, but it has to be vaguely flat for it to it to work. We are uh, going to be using it for printing headphone parts as well in the future, but at the moment it's still a little bit experimental. A very expensive experiment. I think I've spent about five or six grand getting this thing kind of working the way I want it at the moment. But anyway, it's good fun for little projects like this. And so here we go. So I've printed, oops, so I've got hot glue on that. So I've printed a little image on there. So you can, whoop, amp one, amp two. Yeah, just for fun. Uh, so probably do with a bit of, a bit more neatening up on the, on the box, but hey, it's just, uh, don't know, just makes it look a little bit pretty. <laughs> anyway. Let us commence with the soldering again. Okay, so yeah, so I've fed, fed one of the wires through there. Uh, let's solder this in. Right, uh, yeah, so I printed off a little extra little bit here to go on the bottom and uh, should fit nicely. Yes, perfect. Um, so I'm just going to use a dab of hot glue just so that if it ever needs to be opened again, it can be. We have it. A little box for switching amplifiers. Ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk. Oh, it's got a nice chunk. Cool. Uh, let me know what you think. Stick some messages in the what's it. Like, subscribe, do the, do those kind of things. You know, you know, you know what you're supposed to do. All right, bye.